pleasant STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. For today's discussion, we will talk about sampling techniques. So at the end of this video lesson, we should be able to illustrate random sampling techniques. So what is a population? A population is a group that includes all the cases or individuals, objects, or groups in which the researcher is interested, meaning it talks about the entire, the participants of the entire study. And from that population, you select smaller group, which is called a sample. A sample is a subset of the population chosen to represent the population in a statistical analysis. So these are the people who will be your respondents or the participants in your study. And the technique in getting a sample from the population is called sampling. So what is sampling? Sampling is the selection of small group of objects or subjects from a larger population. So it is a statistical analysis or technique in selecting, manipulating, and analyzing the representative of your study. So sampling is the process of selecting of the group of individuals from a larger population. As you observe from the illustration, the bigger set is the population, and then you select from those um, respondents to become participants in your study, which is the sample. Okay. So we have two types of sampling techniques. We have the random sampling and non-random sampling. But for today's discussion, since it involves statistical analysis, we will only talk about the random sampling techniques, which are used for quantitative type of data. So here are the different types of random sampling techniques. We have the simple random sampling, systematic sampling, stratified sampling, cluster sampling, or the multi-stage sampling. Let's start with the first one. So a simple random sampling is a technique in which the members of the population are given an equal and independent chance of being selected in the study group. Sometimes it is also known as the lottery method or the quiz bowl method. So how do you perform this type of sampling technique? Say for example, if you are the researcher and you perform a simple random sampling, you will write all the names of your population and then you will be selecting like say for example, 30 participants. So you will do lottery method. So you will pick from those written names. So every member of the population has an equal chance to be selected in the study. The second one is called the systematic sampling, meaning population elements are in ordered sequence. Say for example, your um, population are arranged alphabetically or they might be separated by um, gender. So when they are ordered, you may select participants, say, for example, getting every third element. So meaning the third, the sixth, the ninth, and so on, will be selected as sample. So you follow a system or pattern. The third example is what we call the stratified sampling. These subgroups are what we call stratum. Now, in plural form, we call it strata. So population is divided into subgroups, which is being chosen by the researcher. So it, it, it could be proportional or non-proportional stratified sampling. Say, for example, if your population are the senior high school students, then your um, population could be divided into subgroups. So the stratum that you could use or the strata are the following. It could be the humes, the gas, stem, TVL, and so on. So all the 
um, strands and tracks offered in the senior high school are considered your stratum. Lastly, for the cluster sampling, you select only one strata to it. So you, you select the cluster in which all the subgroups are divided. So for example, if you are if your population are the STEM students, then you can select just one section because every STEM section you know, are considered one cluster. So say for example, you have chosen um, STEM H as your sample. So you perform the what we call cluster sampling, meaning all the STEM age students will be representing the STEM strand. And lastly, a combination of the four sampling techniques is referred to as the multi-stage sampling. So in a multi-stage sampling, you perform different levels of sampling techniques. Like say, for example, combining simple random sampling and stratified sampling. So if you have, for example, subgroups such as um, the different strands, and from those strands, you, will, you have written names on it and you perform lottery from each strand, then every member of each strand has an equal chance to be selected as your sample in the study. So that's a combination of simple random sampling and stratified random sampling. So we will refer to it as a multi-stage sampling. So we are now done with the different random sampling techniques. On the next video lesson, we will be talking about how to distinguish a parameter versus, versus a statistics. So again, this is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher.